to uh, to receive our first preacher. Amen. He's a man of God. He's he's pastoring a, a growing church in Uh Pastor Brian Harris, a pastor of Christ Temple Apostolic Church, will be preaching to us tonight. So we clap our hands to the Lord. You may be seen in the presence of the Lord. And I'm so grateful to the Lord to be here today. Thank you uh, for the invitation. Um, thank you, Pastor and Pat, for all your hard work. Uh, the true shepherd of God. Uh, you can one shepherd can tell the heart of another shepherd, and um, he has a love for God's people, and I honor him and the work that he's doing. Bay Area, Bay Area, San Francisco, Bay Area, and throughout the nations. Let's pray for him one more time and the worship. We have to pray for him and the hard work. We have to put this on and um, all of those who have helped and labored uh, to do the work of the Lord and say praise the Lord to you. And we have to bless you. All the pastors of that have an opportunity uh, today to say uh, praise the Lord to you. Uh, we had a uh, our church at our pastor church called Christ Temple, Apostolic Church in the city of Vallejo. And um, we've had a, a busy weekend this week, uh, this week is a little. Um, uh, half of us are at another location, and some came here with us today. Um, so I do want to acknowledge uh, my wife, my lovely honey pie, my sweetheart, my uh, pudding tang. My, uh, I like to call her my peaches and my peach cobbler. And my but now the wafers in my banana pudding. This is my wife, uh, Kelly Louise Harris. Uh, she's the mother of the And uh, for her support in the ministry. We started uh, Christ Temple seven years ago in a one bedroom apartment. And I, used, I was a new pastor at a, a church in South Vallejo, a man named Apostolic Church in the that day too begin to start Christ Temple, and so um, we moved the furniture, and we bought seven chairs, and a, a card table, full of card table, I preached behind the first service to my wife, and my little boy, and Levi was three at the time, and um, and she allowed me to move furniture around, and move things around, she hasn't left me yet, so I thank, I thank God for her, and uh, for her support to the ministry, and uh, for the love of God that God has placed in my hearts. Uh, we draw your attention to the Word of God in Ephesians chapter number 4. Also, I want to say the principle to Brother Patrick that he's done a fine job of coordinating uh, this event. It's not easy getting all these things together. But we thank the Lord for it all. I'm only going to take a few minutes. Um, I know we have another speaker today, so I'm going to take just a few minutes. The opportunity to very familiar past the scripture. Uh, I couldn't think of anything uh, else when, when, when you think of one as Ephesians chapter number four. I am, I am uh, blessed by the, the theme here. And so, uh, with the help of the Lord, I'd like to share this word with you. Ephesians chapter number four, if you got to say, I got it. Look here, there is, verse number four, there is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Great eternal God in the name of Jesus Christ, bless your word. Loose the bands of wickedness, undo the heavy burdens, let the oppressed soul go free. Destroy every yoke by the power of your spoken word. Cause me to decrease that you might increase now, God, and be glorified in this place. Be magnified in this place. And let the devil be In the name of Jesus, we pray. And everyone shout in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. I like to preach the power of one. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter number 4, verse number 1, Therefore the prisoner of the Lord 
the Apostle Paul in bonds to the afflictions of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, bound to do the work of the Lord. How many feel bound to do God's work? I am constrained by the work of God. He said, I am trying to apprehend that which I am apprehended of, Christ Jesus. Have you ever just been apprehended by the Holy Ghost? Just wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in Jesus. Can't seem to get away from him. Can't seem to turn to, to away from him. Even when you think like you want to turn your back on God, there he is. You just find yourself in the presence of the Almighty God. All of, I am consumed by the work of God. Amen. You can't find no other place but in the house of God, praising God with the people of God. There's no other place that I'd rather be but here, right now. Paul said, I'm a prisoner of the gospel. And I beg of you, I beg of you that you walk worthy of your vocation, walk worthy of your calling. Many great men and women of God have been persecuted and have died even for the advancement of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And he is begging the body of Christ that you would walk worthy of your vocation, of your purpose, of the great calling that God had placed in your life. And do it with loveliness and Thank <laughs> you. 
position that we have. Amen. I heard it's like your child in the back car as you're driving. How long before we get there? He said, not long. Drive a little further. He said, how long? Not long. My little boy, if he was here now, he said, hey, how long is church going to be lasted? I said, oh, not long. Amen. Hope. Amen. It is a confident thing. I'm looking at me like you and how long is preaching going to be preaching? Who that individual is 
fruits. Fruits can only be paired in a tree according to what's inside the tree. If you plant an apple seed, it is going to bring forth an apple tree. So whatever's inside of you is going to come out of you. And when you get pressed on every side, whatever's inside of you, whatever you get putting in you is going to come out of you. But love in, love out. Put the word in, the word's going to come out of you. You need to put stuff inside of you. Amen. That will help bring you unity among the body of Christ. Amen. Because the only thing that will divide the body is disunity. And that is the oldest trick of the devil. The devil wants to divide and conquer. He is a very formidable opponent. He Divide the church of the living God. If he can get you to begin to talk against one another, if he can get you to begin to look amen, away from one another, he can begin to divide the church. But the devil is a liar and he is a father of lies. And we want to be united because you cannot make me leave God. You cannot make me dislike you because you're not my enemy. The devil is. Now the devil may use some folks to try to discourage you. But tell them you can't make me dislike you because you're not my enemy. And then when we refer to the oneness of the church of God, we speak to a people that has the same kind or of the same quality. You are not better than I am. I'm not better than you. We are men of like his faith, and we are men of my like passion. There is nothing to hide, or nothing that cannot be revealed. Why? Because we share the same things. In the Acts of the Apostles, it is recorded in the early church that they had all things common. What does that mean? If I had a loaf of bread, that means you have a loaf of bread. If I have milk for my cereal, that means your cereal. There's no big eyes or little U's in the kingdom of God. For we are all one. And if I got money, you got money. If we go to McDonald's and then we get a happy meal, then we cut it in half and I'll share my half with you. And you understand why? Because if I got up, you got up. The apostle Paul said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. By some of those who say they have communion and one is full and another is hungry. One has plenty and another is left for want. That should not be in oneness. That should not be in the one body. Amen. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Amen. We ought to go house to house breaking bread and fellowship and in prayers. If you don't allow me in your house, amen, and I don't allow you in mine, we will always be divided. But once we come into one another's homes, we see what you got, I see what I got. Amen. And now that takes away the stigma of who we are one to another. Amen. We are one church focused on the work of the church. Not on our job duty, our job description, but on the work of the kingdom of God. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the faith in the bond of peace, fulfilling the purposes of the church of God to evangelize the world for Christ, and binding ourselves together in unity to worship the Savior in spirit and in truth, to minister to the body of Christ, share what we have, our time, talent, and our treasure. Listen, can I tell you this? And I'm almost through. You ever see a lion tamer go inside of a lion cage? He has a whip in his hand, or sometimes a stick. But another tool he has in his hand is a chair. A chair that has four legs on it. Um, and it is said that that is the most important tool of the lion tamer. Why? Because he will take the end of the chair and hold it up to the face of the animal. And the animal will try to focus on all four legs at a time. And a type of paralysis would 
tongues. Why? Because his attention is fragmented. He cannot focus on one at a time. You know what the enemy wants to do? He wants to fragment our attention. He wants to scatter our feelings. He wants to put all kinds of thoughts in your mind. He wants to keep you busy with all types of worldly things. He wants to fragment you and try to keep you out of the house of God. Thank <laughs> you. 